To add an agent, log into the Foglet Web Console with your Foglet user. Click on Databases to access the database dashboard. Click on Monitor and select SQL Server. The Monitor SQL Server Instance Setup GUI should display in a simple format and request a set of needed configurations for monitoring a single instance. At the top of the panel is a link to provide an option to discover multiple SQL Server instances. A separate video will cover this method to add new agents. Agent Manager Host specifies the selected agent manager and usually defaults to the agent manager that has the least amount of instances that are already deployed against it. This helps with load balancing and sizing that affects performance. Click the box to change the agent manager host if desired. The connection details is where to specify the name of the SQL Server instance to monitor. To monitor a default instance, use only the host name in the server field. The instance naming convention uses the host name backslash instance format. In a cluster environment, insert the virtual host name of the SQL Server host in the server name field. During this demonstration, we'll stage monitoring against a named instance of the SQL Server default port of 1433. When no port is specified, the wizard will use the port that's provided by the SQL browser service, in which case the service must be started. The information I is helpful in explaining the login credentials. There are two methods for login connections. One is to specify the login credentials by either using the Windows or SQL Server authentication. These are the same connection methods used to access the SQL Server Management Studio. So if a user can connect, via the SQL Server Management Studio, they should be able to establish a login through this wizard, assuming there's no connection issues such as a firewall blocking the port. The Use the Active Directory account running your agent manager will connect with the login account that is used to run the Foglate Agent Manager. This is for installations where the Foglate Agent Manager is installed locally on the database server. Enabling the Use SSL checkbox requires you to import a database certificate into the key store on the Foglate Agent Manager server. At the bottom of the panel is an option to set the alarm template and either automatically generate a database agent name based on the server or instance name or to override the setting with a custom agent name. A checkbox is provided to enable SQL PI. In this video, we will not enable SQL PI. This option is covered in another video. The operating system checkbox allows the database agent to collect OS metrics. Clicking the link provides an option to either enter the login credentials for the remote host or to select a previously configured credential stored in the lockbox of the FMS. OS metrics required WinRAM or WNI connectivity to collect Windows metrics or a SSH connection for Linux monitoring. Enter the OS login credentials or select a radio button to use the same account to monitor the SQL Server, and then click Apply. The Collect VM Statistics checkbox provides the ability to obtain VM statistics directly from the VM Server host. Once all of the connection details are in place, click Monitor. The configuration will start up. If a Grant Privileges box pops up, a Grant script is available to run directly in the instance to grant the necessary privileges. Or enter a sysadmin account to execute Grant scripts. Once completed, a pop-up will indicate that the agent has been created and there's a choice of adding another database in which it will take you back to the setup screen or click Finish. The new agent is now created. After a couple of minutes, collection time, the dashboard will become populated with data.